You know, axes are cool and all, but what would be even cooler than an axe? A resin axe. Oh my gosh, that looks massive in your hands. <laughs> We did something similar three years ago with these resin knives. Love how they turned out. They were really cool, but they were one of the most difficult resin projects we've ever done, to the point where we kind of swore off making resin weapons. Uh, but but <laughs> it's, it's been three years. The pain of the past DIY has faded. And it has been replaced with the desire to own a resin axe. <laughs> I want to demonstrate how sharp it is. Oh, dang. Oh. <laughs> I have to admit, part of the reason why I chose this project is just so I could get a cool ax. <laughs> <laughs> I don't doubt that. <laughs> also, we want to make this ax look like lava. We've never tried resin lava before. It's been yeah. a technique we wanted to do for a long time. It just seemed cool to have like an elemental ax. Yeah, we're gonna mix different glow pigments with some different mica pigments. It should be really cool. This video is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform for all your website needs. So the reason I chose this ax in particular is because it splits into its component parts, but we need to disassemble it in order to make the mold box. Now, the screws right here are really easy to disassemble, but getting this bushing out is gonna be a little bit more complicated. So I'll show you the strange method I used. Okay. Okay. Do you want a hand? Yeah. Can you hold that right there? So we have the screw pressing against the brass bushing and yeah. it all fell apart. Okay, <laughs> what's happening? <laughs> I'm disassembling. It's a very precise. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I want to help, but I also just want to film you. Okay, okay, oh, there okay. it's going. Now, are we going to be able to salvage those for the final piece? Okay, so we'll just figure something else out. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh, Ooh. that's cool. It's interesting. It's hollowed out, I guess, to make it not out. too heavy. Yeah. It's gonna make it more difficult to make a silicone mold out. It could it be It just feels okay. like more friction to like pop it out. No, 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 I think it'll be fine. My general thought was to just kind of arrange these pieces kind of like this and just build the mold box like that. We built the mold box using this corrugated plastic that we just cut into little sheets. And, and. Hot glue? No, I was gonna say, and we sprayed mold release on it. Yeah, we remembered, and it's level. Everything's gonna be perfect. We're all ready for silicone. <laughs> and this is gonna be a lot of silicone. This is always such a satisfying part to me. Yeah, let's just, let's just take a little moment. Appreciate it. Let the goo. Wash over your soul. Let the goo cleanse you of your sins. <laughs> it's bucket of goo. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. God. That's, that's a really big so pour. That's uh, a really I big pour. It was full. It was full. Now it looks. Uh -huh. <laughs> Come on. This is white silicone. You nasty. <laughs> oh. oh my God. <laughs> it's an overwhelming amount of goo. When it hasn't been used in so long, it just flows out so <laughs> Makes in time. Should we do a time lapse? And now, to put it in the vacuum chamber. I honestly worry that there might not be enough room in here. As long as we monitor it closely. <laughs> don't, would, you know, would, don't look away and let it Who would zone overflow. out and do that? It's going, it's going, it's going. Okay. Whoa. It's whoa. Like, a, like a dough whoa. rising. Whoa, 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 whoa. In fast motion. So yes. to you, is that gross or is it tasty? It, I, it depends on how I think about it. If I think about it like a big batch of caramel, or but if you think of it as like alien eggs, then it's kind of grosser. How do you see it? I was gonna say more tasty, but then you mentioned the alien eggs. <laughs> Sorry. I think of it as more tasty too. I think of it as like, Caramel. It looks like tapioca pudding to me. Mmm, yeah, 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 I see it, I see it. It's just like moving. Like it's An alive. <laughs> the part I'm most worried about is getting it under there. I can start there. Or I can kind of aim to like pour it right here, that way you can kind of see from the side, see if it's like yeah. getting in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whee. 
Seems like it's going under. It does look like it's going under the edge. It is going under the edge, yeah. So that's good. Now, is it gonna be a pain to get this ax out of the mold because of that? Yes. Yes. The ax might cut a, a new slot on its way out. It might. We'll deal with that in post. You wanna just like a Do a timer? So while the silicone cures, we're gonna start with the first phase of the resin, which, which is gonna be some dark crackly rock. Cause we don't just want like the whole ax to be like magma orange. It might just look thing. like look genericized like, hot. I, yeah, I think it would just look like an orange ax. But if you contrast that with like the dark magma stone with the lava glowing in between the cracks, yeah. I think it'll look more like lava. The smart idea we had was to just pour a thin sheet of dark resin and then break it into pieces that will arrange so that the orange glow will shine through the cracks. I just remember that we're, we're, we're dealing with fast cure and we have a big Huge chunk. It's, it's like already starting to warm up a little bit. Oh, seriously? Yeah, seriously. Okay, so in terms of colors, we have black mica powder. Yep. We have a dark gray mica powder. And then we also have this really textury glitter to give it like a stony texture. All right, let's pour. Let's pour. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I just... <laughs> you just poured it all in one <laughs> spot. Oh, mix mine through yours. <laughs> it's so right, hot. It's all flat though. It's, it's spreading. It's, it's spreading. spreading. It's still yeah. spreading. Oh yeah. It's, it's like getting hard and hot right here. <laughs> and I'm just gonna kind of whee, sprinkle it around. Fun. All right, now let's add some texture. Wow, look at that. It's like lava rocks. <laughs> it's exactly like lava rocks. It's exactly like lava rocks. I feel like I'm seasoning a dish. One other idea I had, but we need to decide now. We could, when it's at its gel state, semi-hardened, we could get the little like lava rocks from our fireplace and press them in to imprint the pattern. But I don't know if that's gonna look good on top of this texture or... What we can do is when it's at that gel state, we'll be able to lift it out like a pancake. Oh, and turn it over. And turn it over, see what the other side looks like. Okay, well, we'll let this ugly pancake cook. <laughs> Is it ready? Is it, is it squishy? On the edges, it's still definitely goopy, but like in the center. Oh yeah, it's pretty hard. It's getting kind of hard. Okay, I think we need to flip it. You don't, you don't like this? You don't like oh. that? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's hardening right now. I mean, does it look okay? Does it look like rocks, guys? It doesn't super look like rocks, but I'm not sure if the other side will look more let like me, rocks. Let me, I just want to test it on the edge. All right, let, let, let's, get some, let's get some fire rocks and let's test it. Okay, so the issue is, um, <laughs> no, no. the issue is the lava rocks are in our fireplace and we have this running because I didn't think it would harden so fast. Are they hot? Oh, they're actually nice and cool. Okay. Look at that texture. Cool. Awesome. Oh, Ooh, dinner's ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one's really textury. I feel like that looks better. That looks better. It looks better. Let's flip right, it. Let's flip it. Okay. Ooh, exciting. Okay. This side looks worse. Let's just try it. Oh no. It's not impressionable in the middle, only the outsides. We got to it too late. It's not doing anything in the middle. We can't even write it here. So here are our options. We go with this side, we go with this side, or we do it again. Yep, we did it again. I mean, look at that ugly blob. <laughs> this is like our ugliest resin. Resin creation. frisbee? Resin burrito. <laughs> Don't eat resin, by the way. So we did it again, but this time tried individual drops of resin that we could shape into rocks, since we thought the individual drops would harden more evenly than a big pour. This is working pretty well. With every failure comes a new and interesting thing to learn. This is such an exciting resin technique to try though. Yeah, this resin is probably at like 100 degrees Fahrenheit now or something. Well, pour a big one, how about? Well, don't fill the bowl, it's just gonna be a square. It's steaming, it's steaming. Look at that steaming. Oh my God. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at this. It's, 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 it's thickening so much in here. Oh yeah, you can barely pour it. Oh. Ah. Globs. 
Okay, well, we got a lot of cool little stones. We do. We got a lot of rock. And Lots some big of variety. Rocks and a hot mess, literally. But <laughs> I think we have some options. Hot mess, hot mess. Okay, it's been literally 20 seconds. That's cured. This is gonna be getting to the imprintable st stage like real soon. It might be now. It's well, let, too, let me too try, far let me gone. try, let me try. <laughs> it's already too far. What's happening? There's like liquid resin underneath and a tough resin shell. What even is, what? It's Ew. just, it's just, it's just gone. It's just gone. It's gone. It's gone. That one's too hard. Already. Ah, it's like too hard and too gooey at the same too time. Too hard on the outside, too gooey on the inside. That one's gone. That one's gone. That one's gone. That one's gone. We'll, uh, we'll give it a little bit more time, I guess. Have we told everyone the story about how we first started dating? We were both contestants on this dating show where you could push a talking button to reject the other person. <laughs> so Evan, what do you do for a living? Oh, I'm a small business owner selling mood and toilet seats as a living. So cool. Do you have a website I can check out? No, but I don't really know if it's... Oh, well, it's it nice to meet you. Why did you reject him? There's no excuse not to have a website when today's sponsor Squarespace makes it so easy. I'll learn everything I can about Squarespace until I win her heart. Mm, so first off, I can buy a domain on Squarespace. What about feelyourbutt.com? Mm, Squarespace makes it easy to set up an online store to sell my mood and toilet seats. You can also use their professional portfolio designs to display your projects or even share password protected work with clients. I just use Squarespace to offer an on-site pickup. Looks like the customer arrived. Evan, it's you. I hardly recognize you with such an impressive website. <laughs> if you want to impress others with your website, go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to pull the trigger, go to squarespace.com slash Evan and Caitlin for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. All right, so Caitlin and I have been testing out some techniques and I really don't want to say this, but does it look like chewed gum? You know, I knew you were going to say chewed gum, but it's not like a gum color. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Once it's contextualized. Yeah, it's not gonna come together till the very end and that's gonna look amazing. Amazing. Not at all like a whole bunch of black chewed gum on an axe. <laughs> They're all coming together. This is so great. What? I feel like I'm just like a kid playing with like Play-Doh. I know. It's yeah. high it's pressure. Done. High pressure, Play-Doh. Yeah. I have to admit, not that I ever doubted us. There are some silicone rock texture packs that you can get online, just in case this doesn't work out. I think it's gonna be fine. Look at these, look at you're these. You're right, you're right. It really is coming together. Who needs their pre-made silicone things? They make it too easy. Yeah, huh. where's the fun? The, uh, DIY. <laughs> DIY. What, what letters were that before DIY? <laughs> no. no. So I think it's time to call it. <laughs> and by the time we see you guys again, it should be time to demold our ax. Yeah, now I'm somewhat worried that we're gonna come out of here tomorrow and they're all gonna be smooth globs again. No. They're not smooth globs! Yay! Yay! They still look like rocks. But I'm more <laughs> excited to demold this and I'm a little bit nervous. Why are you nervous? Ripping oh. it, cutting it. Yeah, I forgot about that. The blade that needs to come out the of the blade. silicone. Oh yeah. Only one way to find out. Can I nominate myself to just go for it? Because you would take a long time to demold this. I would take a the cautious right amount, of, amount time. of time. I know. Can we just like alcohol the super glue and pop these off? That what if we easier. what if we need to reuse it? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get it that's out. That's a good point. Come on. I we mold release. Mold released you. You come out. You 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 get right out. <clears throat> hey! 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 Release! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Look at that, look at that. Look yeah, at that. You yeah, see I that see coming? it. You see it's that like, coming? It's like tentacles. You might have to cut it as you're lifting it. I see where it's stuck on the left there. Yeah. Oh, there it oh, is. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to cut some of those little flappy flaps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There, there's, there, there it's going. Okay, okay. Okay. Now all we have left head. is the ax head. Ooh, the danger bit. You know what I'm actually thinking? Let's go ahead and destroy at least this end, because it'd be good to shift it this way. Destroy this part of the mold. Yeah, at least. Because if I just lift it straight up, it's definitely going to cut. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Oh yeah. There we oh, go. Yeah. Oh yeah. Push it this way. Let's try to unsheath it. Okay. Oh wait. Oh. Oh, it just came out. Well, you know what I'm gonna do? I am gonna intentionally slice along the edge that I want it to cut on. Okay. Just a little bit. Yes. Oh <gasps> yeah. It's not destroyed. <laughs> All right. Eh? Now we just have a little bit of cleanup to do, then we'll evaluate the final state of things. <laughs> now we have the very first resin pour of the actual axe body, where we're gonna do a thin coat of resin and then place these little rocks on top to give it that lava look. After we do a clear coat and then the rocks, we wanna do the lava behind it. And the reason we're not just going straight to lava and rocks is we don't want the lava to like cover the rocks up. That's why yeah. we're doing clear first. I want this to rock. And roll. <laughs> All day long. <laughs> Sweet, Sweet Susie. Susie. <laughs> resin time. Resin time, resin time. So it's not actually resin time. We were gonna drill holes in these. Cause we realized there's a bunch of holes in the handle and our big rocks aren't gonna fit unless we drill holes with them. So drill a, time, drill time. I got out a special clamp to, to hold it, to drill it. And it snapped the piece. <gasps> Cause this was a piece that had been joined by multiple resin pieces. Oh no, can we still drill it? It just snapped the underside off. I and mean, that still looks natural from this side, right? Yeah. Mult it, was, it was multiple pieces of resin that we just fuse together by just smashing it together, like smashing a piece it of together. Clay. Yeah, um, so that's it's a good uh, data point. Resin that's joined in that way isn't super strong. Yeah. Well, that was my fear, but I have look the at these pieces! <laughs> wow, look at how natural and organic they are. We have one more we can try it on. You want to try it on this guy? Yeah. Maybe he'll be stronger. Oh yeah, oh it's going, oh it's going. Oh yeah, hey. Let's test if it'll go around a peg. Alrighty, ooh this is gonna be so cool if it works. Oh, oh. that's cool. <laughs> that's okay. cool. All right, one it's more. It's worth trying on another. Yeah. <laughs> ooh yeah, yeah that is cool. That's cool. That's just cool. It just looks like so much more integrated. Yeah. Should we do one or two more? Let's do one or two more, heck yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> we did the exact same goofy laugh at the same time. <laughs> Do the same dance. This is the best dance. Hey baby, you know what time it is now? What? It's resin time. Resin time, resin time. Do, 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 resin time. It's fresh new resin time. Yeah, new bottle. It's new a, bottle new, fresh. It's new bottle day. New bottle resin time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just start on one end and work my way over. Yeah. So we want to pour enough to fill these ridges because we're worried if we don't, then when we pour the lava resin, it could like get into the ridges and that would look yeah. weird. We don't want them to look like a grilled texture. Oh my gosh, baby, it's not level. Oh, we didn't do mold release. Oh. Shoot. It's fine. It's fine. Grab the leveling jig. I'll grab the leveling jig. 
I got a jig. All right, I'll finish. Oh, did you mean did you mean this leveling jig? I'm a doing the leveling jig. <laughs> <laughs> All right, baby, yeah. Okay, we're back in business. Okay, okay, okay. It's so far it's looking pretty good. We need a little bit over here, and you were right. I use way too much resin. Oh geez, I didn't do that too gracefully. Oh geez. If resin spills over, it'll, it'll it's fine. Okay. Oh man, I'm so excited to see how this looks. I think it's gonna look awesome. Me too. Heck yeah, I love it when a good plan comes together. I got a few more of these littles. Yeah, but it's also okay if there, it's not, if there's 100%. some like empty space, you know? Cause I, you know, I don't want it to be like too weirdly concentrated littles in certain areas. Yeah. I think it might be good. We won't know till literally we're done, so. I'm so excited. Yeah. Okay, we'll let this here. And then I think it's lava time. So before we go ahead and try to do lava resin, which we've never done before, we're gonna do some small scale tests. Yeah, I'd really prefer to not mess up all the work we just did with the <laughs> rocks. Yeah, we are using brand new pigments that are a lot, little bit like more bold and colorful. And we're using two new glow in the dark pigments. This one changes from orange to like a glowing yellow. And this turns from like invisible white to this glowing orange. What colors are we gonna use and what combination? That's why we have a bunch of test cubes out here to find out. Yeah. All right, most of these look the same. I'd say it would work. <laughs> <laughs> but I definitely have one that's the favorite. Ready to point at it? Three, two, one. Yeah. Okay. You know the sad thing about that, that one has zero glow powder. <sighs> and I noticed that the glow powder seems like it sinks to the bottom and gives it a bit of a cloudiness. Yeah. Now, I'm sure with UV light, it looks cool. I actually haven't looked. You wanna grab okay. the... That is pretty cool. Now, the one that we like, in addition to having no UV, it also has no orange. It's only yellow Ooh. and red. And I think that's leading to why we like it. It has a little bit higher contrast. Mm -hmm. So, that's I, something. I have an idea. So I think what we ultimately landed on is we're gonna do about a third yellow, a third glow, and a third red. No orange in the mix. <laughs> And there's, there's more contrast that way. Yeah, you know there's what I mean? more contrast that way. Well, hopefully that'll be like the best of our tests combined. Man, this, this yellow looks so cool. It's such a fun yellow. All right, that's looking nice. And we're also gonna mix the glow in the dark and the yellow so that when we end up doing the pour, we're mixing less things and we can evacuate as many bubbles as possible. Oh, oh no! Well, I'll clean that later. Oh my gosh. The air pushed down and splashed it. That's oh. insane. That's a crazy amount of splatter. But we, we Look did at that. it. Like, oh gosh. Oh gosh. You know, it'll... <laughs> hey, we'll deal with that later. We'll deal with that, we'll deal later. Deal with that later. The clock's ticking, so we kind of got to pour. All righty. Ooh, that's like pure red. Well, I'm just gonna do the best that I can. Yeah, maybe if you go back and forth some. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, that's looking pretty cool. It is looking pretty cool. I'm so excited to see what this looks like with the rocks on the other side, you know? Yeah, I have no clue. It's gonna be a surprise to us as much as y'all. Yeah. I feel like the colors look good though. Like the proportion of yellow to red. And the lava flow texture really looks like lava flow. And here's a little more. Ooh, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Yes. There you go. We'll probably have to babysit this a little bit just in case. Yeah, but and we will hope it doesn't start smoking. Please look cool. <laughs> Please look cool. Please look cool. Please look cool. Now gentle. Oh, you didn't handles first. Okay. Oh my gosh. I hope these look. <laughs> I hope they look cool. Please look cool. Please look cool. Please look cool. Please look cool. That 
Hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, come on! It looks like a diseased poodle. <laughs> it doesn't... It doesn't we look like lava. Of, we put a lot of work into those rocks and the I think texture, the texture of the axe itself <laughs> really <laughs> so you're getting sweaty now the texture of the axe itself really obscured the rocks i maybe, mean it kind of looks like lava wait hold it far away maybe with some a, a clear coat on top to gloss it to gloss it with the clarifying clear coat oh boy it's gonna look so cool yeah oh oh no there's some bubbles. Hey, it just makes it more wicked. This is like a teeth. Yeah, it's you know? wicked. It's, it's, it's this a, looks it's pretty biting. cool. It's biting. This looks pretty awesome. This looks like I hoped. You know, I think with a little bit of sanding, some clear coat, and a lot of work. And maybe like we turn the UV light on. <laughs> I think that we can, we can make this work. Let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> There's still hope. There's still hope that it's gonna look cool. It's gonna look. It's gonna look. And not like moldy cheese. It's gonna look really cool. Now, you can't make an ax without first testing it. I don't think. Wow! Look at that! You know, it might not be the most functional ax, but I bet it's gonna look freaking cool in the dark! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Making it glow? Such a good idea. Oh, That's yes. what makes it look like lava. This saves the whole thing. I <laughs> love it now. <laughs> this is glorious. I feel very powerful. Yeah? So powerful. Wait, it's kind of getting hotter. Oh, it's, getting, no. it's getting really hot. Oh, oh no. no. Oh no. Run oh. away. I just rolled this one up. <laughs> this made me think of a booger. <laughs> like a, a booger? massive, massive booger. Isn't that one of the ones I just finished? Do you not like my shape? I loved your shape. I just wanted to refinish it a bit. You turned it into a booger. I love you. I love you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>